part 8 of the tutorial flower power so we're going to add some a um, little bit of interest now with some flowers so we'll start off with some daisies in the field so these have to be really tiny because the uh, that is quite a long way away but you would see these sort of like um, little white um, bits each uh, white piece is probably a collection of daisies rather than one daisy but um, because of the distance they are away but um, it looks good and it makes it pretty a little bit more interest Uh, very easy just roll it up in your hands and uh, then needle felt it down oh it looks like I was just taking a, a drink sorry about that <clears throat> so we'll just put a few more daisies in there and then we'll get on to some more flowers at the front couple more again um, as I said before you want to put them in um, odd numbers um, three five seven whatever try to get them in odd numbers when you can it's, it's less important when there's more of them but um, yeah if you're only doing a few definitely make them in odd numbers it just looks so much better got a nice little patch of daisies there I'll put a couple um, over to the left as well there we are just arrange, trying to get the tiniest bits of white and quite often you pull off a piece and you think it's small enough and then you start to roll it in your hand you realize how big it is so you just pull it in half and um, use it that way that makes two there we go I really like the daisies if they were closer you could put a yellow in the center oh sorry about that that was my phone okay I should remember to turn these things off when I'm um, recording but I don't <laughs> well not always so I suppose it makes a little bit of interest I hope it wasn't too loud now here we're using some green and making it into long sausage thin long sausage shapes and just making it go up from the front um, which will make like the leaves and the stems of the flowers that we're going to make I often use more than one color green um, sorry Um, yeah I'm actually using some of the uh, fluffy bits from the locks here um, I just think it's it's nice it makes them a little bit crinkly perhaps so uh, because the leaves and the um, stalks of flowers don't always grow dead straight so it just gives it a little yeah it makes it interesting and uh, gives it a little bit of a change Okay, and I will point them in different directions um, we'll have some leaning over one way some leaning over another and some of them dead straight um, just 
you know, go go with your gut. Do what you think looks right. That's what I do. I make it up as I go along anyway. So. Okay, I think I've turned the volume off now on the computer and possibly the phone, but uh, we'll see. So I'm just putting in these uh, bits of leaves and stalks um, in a couple of different greens. Um, as I said, you do some leaning left, some leaning right, some straight up, um, just to give it a bit of a, um, a bit of a change. You don't want it all going dead straight up. Um, unless it's uh, sort of like, well even tall grass doesn't really go straight up um, it might look like it from a distance but it doesn't um, so and make sure that the bottom of them comes down below where you're going to have your frame like, like so mostly and then it's uh, easier you don't have to worry about what it looks like at the bottom so we've got those in there now um, you have to choose what colour you're going to do your flowers or colours, you need more than one colour really you need sort of like a dark, medium and a light colour um, we're going to do some red ones, make them stand out nice so we just make little dots same as we did for the daisies, only these are slightly bigger and you can put some smaller ones um, near to the top of the uh, stalks and then get slightly bigger as you come down And don't forget, you put some sort of light to the left of the uh, stalk, some to the right of the stalk, and put some over the top of the stalk, because um, that's the way flowers grow. You wouldn't see the stalk necessarily all the way, all the way up. Some of it will be covered. But as I'm only doing the uh, the red at the moment, the dark colour, um, I can. If I haven't managed to do it, I can fill it in with one of the other colours. I think it's, it's a very easy way to do flowers. I mean, you can do something more um, complicated if you wish. Um, I do sometimes, but these just look so good at the front. And we're doing them quite, well, comparatively quite large and tall. So um, it does make it look more into the foreground. There we go whole heap of flowers now we're putting in another colour um, a bit of an orangey colour there and just popping them in in between the others in different places um, and it just it makes it look better because um, you know where the, the light hits flowers um, or they're in shade they do look different colours even though they're exactly the same on a plant um, and the plant themselves sometimes grow different colours so um, there's not that much difference between that one and the red but there is a slight difference so it's it's a sort of a, a hint of change um, but we will still put another lighter colour on as I said a dark, a medium and a light that's the best way to go And because of where the sun is, I will probably put the light ones mostly down the right hand side. Here we go. Yep, 
because that's mostly where they're going to catch the light. Just a few bits in there. Sort of makes the flowers come alive, I think. These little extra colours. And sometimes one um, flower head will overlap another one, although when you're doing it, if you're doing it just one colour, you couldn't see that. It wouldn't work. So, um, you know, you just end up with one big blob. But doing it this way, you can actually slightly overlap um, one over another. Gives it a bit more depth as well. Oh, we're nearly there. A few more front heads, I think, and then and then we'll be done. Yep. I'm really, really enjoying doing this picture. And I'm hoping you're enjoying the videos. If you are, um, I would really appreciate it if you could like, comment and subscribe. One, or the th one of the three, or all three. Um, it really does help me. I'm trying to get my YouTube um, channel monetized, so um, it helps me to do more, more things for you because I need the materials to do the t tutorials and um, you know I'm on a pension so it's a bit difficult sometimes there we go and now I'm going to put a piece of uh, leaf or whatever over the top um, because some of the leaves stalks and whatever would come out in the front so you can do that a couple of times in different places and uh, Again, it just gives it a little bit of depth. Thank you.